I am so excited because I absolutely love, 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 love the look of these pots. They're hot, they're trendy, and guess what? One of our Sonoran Living Live viewers makes them, and he contacted me, and I'm so excited to have Matt Filestucker here. Hi. And uh, Matt, welcome. And this, Thank you. The name of your company is called Peebo Pots. Correct. And you made everything here. Yep, everything in my backyard. Oh, here's what is so cool. It looks super heavy, but they're not. They're very lightweight. And why is that, Matt? What's, what is it, the ingredient that makes them light? Um, I had concrete, perlite, and peat moss. The peat moss and the perlite make it lightweight and porous. So it's kind of like magic. They're and we have it right here. Yeah. Okay. All right here. So here's what this looks like. So you can buy this by the bag. Yep. Like it's like feels like little pieces of styrofoam. Yep. This is the concrete, and this is the peat moss, peat right? Peat moss, correct. Okay. Now I know that you recommend yeah, doing, when, you know, wearing a mask for this. And why is that, Matt? The you don't want to get the contact with the dust on your skin or breathe it in. Okay. So okay. So you. It's you, good to always wear protection. Read the, the warnings. Absolutely. Always read manufacturers' labels on that one. So you, you have a certain amount in here. Do you mm -hmm. know how much is in here? Um, yes, enough to <laughs> enough to make probably. I, I would say this would make about four or five pots. Okay, well let's get started then. All right. So you do this in your backyard all the time, huh? I do. Okay. I do. All right. So you're just going to basically mix all of that together, mm -hmm. right? Okay. While you're doing that, Matt, I just want to again take a look at because here's what you do. You this right here came from a mold. I'm assuming from a water container. Yep, absolutely. He makes his own molds. Let me see if I can guess something else. Um, water bottle, because mm -hmm. you can see the bottom of it just like that. Where was the solo cup one? Oh, look at this one. Here you can see a little solo cup indentation on there. I just love these. And the other thing that you do is you add your own little tag, which I think is super, super cool. And what is this made out of? Um, it's high fire ceramics. Oh my gosh, love this. Okay, so what you've done, you mixed everything together, now you added the water. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take to, to really mix it? Um, until it's got the consistency of like um, cottage cheese, I would say. Okay. And you said that you can use just about anything as a, uh, as a mold? Yeah, absolutely. Anything that's flexible or disposable because um, you don't want it to, it will ruin the mold. Okay, because you can only use a mold once. Most of them, yeah. Okay, so why not recycle, right? Absolutely. So here's some ideas. Um, this would be like a low pot. Mm -hmm. You got to pour it in there and stick that in there, right? Yep. You got the solo cup. You'd have to pour something, put something inside the solo cup. Another cup? Yep. <laughs> Another guessing. smaller one, absolutely. All right, and this would be, what would this one be? For? Oh, this one? You could do that. Oh, you can do whatever. Yeah. It's oh. the possibilities are endless based on your mold. So, wow. So, I'm obsessed with the mold, so I love finding different ones to try to find a different shape, and that's how I came up with these. Okay, so let's pretend. So, would you, is that, is that actually ready? Or do it's you ready. Pretend, okay. No, it's definitely ready. Okay. So, what you do is you pour it in about that much, about two thirds full. Okay. And then you take another that's smaller and press it in. I love it. And then you just let it, you have to put it in a, in a plastic bag, you said? Yep, put it in a plastic bag in about, in the summer when I make most of them, it's really hot. It takes about uh, two to three weeks, mm -hmm. but now that it's cooling off, it takes about um, six to eight weeks. Oh, okay. You want to seal it and don't let any air or don't let it dry out. I put it outside in the sun is perfect. And then in eight weeks, six to eight weeks. You're gonna end up with something like this. I yeah. love this. Okay. So you, uh, so you got a couple of them going here. Yeah. There's a solo and then you cup just one. Peel it right off. And Look then you this. got a mold. Look at this. I am I'm in love with this. <laughs> I really, really am. Because it's such a hot, hot trend right now. Mm -hmm. Concrete is very contemporary, very in. Um, it's a, a very lot. very organic look. It's very versatile. The first one I made was in um, 1999, and they last forever. So oh, there sorry. you go. Good okay. muscle. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? Now you sell these out at uh, at the Union store at the Union at for the people. Part. Okay. Yep. And then also you you go to uh, one of the markets, the and farmers market, the downtown Phoenix Public Market on Saturdays. Okay, that's where people can find you. Yep. Excellent. And of course, I put all of his information on the website in case you want a beautiful website you have, by the way. Oh, thank you. Where you've showcased all these. And um, of course, if you're interested in something, you know, you just uh, call Matt Filestucker. That's and right. And he will hook you up. <laughs>